If you are under the age of 18, the content of this video is not intended for you. Please stop watching now. Hey YouTube, it's Audrey and I'm here with the first installment of a new collaboration hosted by Poet Spice here on YouTube. It is the Farm Fresh Fruit collaboration and we will be posting every Wednesday morning for July 2023. This collaboration is one where we can pull all of our items that are fruit or vegetable theme related. It could be paper crafts, it could be sewing, it could be crocheting, but it is all about fruits and vegetables for this particular collaboration. I will have the links to everybody who is participating below and there is a hashtag also that you can play along with us so we could see your projects. Again, this collaboration is for the entire month of July and we will be posting on Wednesday morning. So for my first installment, I decided to go with watermelon since it is um, one of the summer favorites that a lot of people have so I pulled together a lot of different things so let me show you real quickly what all I have used I pulled out my black diamond dots I pulled out something from my doodad stash and I used one of these um, watermelon slices acrylic pieces in a pink I used one of these watermelon slices and this watermelon popsicle which is from a kit that i got from lisa who has the happy crafter shop i used some three millimeter white ribbon from tonic studios i used a few of these little watermelon slices from the kingston crafts company I used two of the stamps from this Crafters Companion Classy and Fabulous Accessory Stamp. I used this watermelon slice die from Echo Park. And a lot of these things I have not used, like the things that I've shown you so far, I had never used before, except for the diamond dots. I used this um, featured sentiment set and this is from Altenu. It cuts out sentiments. And for this one, I made sentiments on my computer, printed them out, and cut them out. I used this My Creative Time envelope die. I used the My Creative Time 3-inch circle card dies. I use the brand new Simply Made Crafts Smart Hobo die set. And then I also use the brand new um, decorative fittings. I just used this uh, handle. I use some basic cardstock from Michaels. I use the Simply Made Crafts um, paper by Helen Griffin, and the paper that I used out of there were two sheets of this particular paper that is um, watermelon gradient paper. You really couldn't tell. It's this paper here. And then finally, I used several uh, sheets of paper out of here with well, several pieces not sheets all right let me show you the projects that i have made first of all i made these three little embellishments using the simply made crafts circle not simply made crafts but the my creative time circle card dies so here is the first one and as you can see, I have diamond dots there. Um, I layered two of the circles and cut them apart. So basically, 
Uh, well, I'll show you on the next one. You'll see. Um, as I said, I printed out sentiments on my computer and just made a sheet of them to use over and over again. So they're sentiments like that. And then I cut them out with those alternate dies. So this one says a slice of life. This one is a pun. And I used some of the clay um, watermelon slices. This one says don't lose your rind. Like don't lose your rind. <laughs> and this one says you are one in a melon. So those are just embellishments that can be put on other projects. And so this is half of the circle card dies. And they're like four layers. They're three layers of green and then the layer of the pink with the seeds. And what I did with the other half of the card is I made hang tags that you could put on gift bags. And so here's where I use the ribbon more diamond dots are around the edge. This time I layered the sentiments. This one says you are one in a melon. And this is the top half of the card. So it actually opens where you can put a little note in. And as I said, you could just tie it, hang it, and flip it around the strings of a gift bag. And so basically, I layered the pieces, cut the card in half, and then with the pieces I had, I glued those together. And then um, same thing with the layering piece. I took it and I cut the layering pieces in half to make these. So you got a two for out of the card. So... That's the first one. The second one says you are one in a melon again. Actually, all of these say on this on the card, they all say you are one in a melon. And then, like I said, you could stamp a little sentiment in there, but I left it blank to put a note. And then that's the third one. So that was kind of cool that I was able to get hang tags and embellishments. So those are the first two projects. And then this one is an ideal I've been wanting to try since I first saw Melissa, who's Mo Creations, do it. She took the My Creative Time envelope and made it into a box. And so um, I did the same thing. Finally, I said I was going to do it and it took me a while, but I have found the occasion to do it. So with this box, you could just, I'm going to put these in the box and then tie this up. And I did use some eyelets. I'm going to tie that up with more of the ribbon. Here is one of the popsicle pieces from um, Lisa's shop. And then with this particular sentiment, I backed it with a layer of red. I have a stamp on the back. And then this is the back of the box. So that turned out cute. That will house the tags and the embellishments. Then I made a card with cut aparts from um, that Recollections Hot Buy Pad. And it just says life is sweet and juicy. I have a few diamond dots and this is the same paper as the box. I tried to use as much of the same paper as I could. And actually, this was one of those papers where is a 12 by 12 scene. So it was the seeds all around the edges. And then it was a circle of the green. So I utilized the edges to make um, to cut out to add designs using the um, pink seeded part. And then it just um, was a way I was able to use one of those hard to use papers that <laughs> sometimes you wonder, what am I going to do with this? 
So it worked out really well for this. I used the watermelon slice from Lisa's Happy, Happy Crafter Shop. And then on the inside, I used another piece of the hot buy paper. And then here are the two stamps that I used from that Crafter's Companion set. A girl can never have too many handbags and have a gorgeous day. So there is a card. And then here is the hobo handbag. And I love the way this turned out. Um, I have a sentiment here that says you are one in the melon. And I backed it on green. And then as you can see, the gradient shades that come from that piece of paper. So like I cut out it, cut it out from here. You can see the shape there. And then I utilize the bottom pieces for the sides and the bottom. Here on the sides is where I use that Echo Park little die. I did have to cut the slice down. It was a little wider than this, but it hung over, so I didn't like that. So I had to trim that down, but I pieced together those the handle is another sheet from the hot buy as well as the little um, over piece here. And here is that acrylic piece in the pink. I do have it with Velcro so it can open up. And once it's opened and I have this done, this will fit inside of there with the little embellishments. And then this still closes back with that in there so i'll have that in there for a gift and you know i put shred in there or whatever i need tissue paper to make it look nice so i like the way this turned out so that just closes back like that and this is the other side you see it's quite big in there so there is the purse and then lastly you can see how this cuts out here so this u shape so i had that paper and i was just looking at it and i was like what can i do with that so basically i took the two sides got a piece of glue on there i took the two sides i glued them together around the edge i took a another strip from the bottom of this paper and added it across the top for interest. There's a lot of diamond dots on here. And then I have a gift card that can go in here. And then it says shop like a millionaire. So shop like a millionaire, shop like a millionaire. So this is the whole collection of things that I made for the first installment of the Farm Fresh Fruit Collaboration. As always, leave comments on everybody's channel. Um, make sure you're subscribed to everybody's channel because you know a lot of people might be doing a giveaway, me included. So thank you so much for watching. See you next week. You have a great and a very blessed day. Bye-bye.